Hello and welcome to the video where I'm going to compare monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels so you can make the best decision. We can see that the monocrystalline panels are dark blue and have a round edge. This is part of the production process. Poly panels have a square shaped edge and are mostly light blue. The color can be a factor for you if you want your panels to look nice or blend in better. We can also see that the poly panel is slightly bigger for the same power rating. Silicon solar panels are made following a complicated process. But depending on the type of module, the process changes slightly. For monocrystalline modules, a single silicon crystal seed is dipped into a molten silicon solution made out of silicon rocks at 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. The cylindrical structure that comes out from the solution is what is called a silicon ignit, which is then sliced and used to manufacture the wafers of the solar cells. Polycrystalline cells follow a similar process, but instead of pulling out the silicon crystal, as with monocrystalline solar panels, they are instead left to cool down. The distinctive grains that can be seen in polycells are created because the ignit is made from multiple silicon rocks. A monocrystalline cell is more efficient than a polycrystalline cell. A 100 watt monocrystalline panel will deliver the same power as a 100 watt polycrystalline panel. Therefore, the polycrystalline panel needs to be bigger in order to deliver the same amount of energy than a 100 watt polycrystalline panel would give. For instance, this is a 100 watt panel from the same manufacturer with its dimensions. We can see that the pollen panel needs to have more area to deliver the same amount of energy. Choosing which panel you will get depends on the space you will have available. Do you have a small space where every square inch needs to be used, like a van or a boat? Choose for mono. If space is not a constraint, like a rooftop, choose for poly. This is a cost comparison for a 100 watt solar panel on the day I'm making this video. Here I'm making the comparison for the cost per watt. 10 years ago, there was a notable difference between the two cells. With modern technology, the efficiency differences between the two types of panels have shortened considerably. So we can say that mono will have the same durability and performance in the shade as a poly panel. I recommend using a mono panel if you are restricted in space. If you are not limited by space, choose poly, and the panels would cost less for the, more, for the same amount of power. I do not recommend the flexible solar panels because they have a short lifespan of only a few years because they are not good at dissipating heat. Thank you for watching this video about monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels. If this video was helpful to you, please press the like button, subscribe if you want, and I will see you in the next video.